Hawkins. Gary! I thought you would have realized by now what happens when you try to dodge me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came to your senses. I want you to meet me on 75 South at the big rest stop just past High Bridge Creek. You know where that is? Okay. He wants me to meet him. High Bridge the... Creek rest stop, I heard. You hear where we're going? Yes, sir. Oh, and uh, see if you can find a place to stop on the way to get some painter's plastic and some garbage bags. Got it. You know, the more I think about this, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. I, I, you know, Duffy is crazy. I think you, I think you need to call for some back. We ain't calling anybody. Why not? Because all they'll do is try to arrest him. Back up. Hands where I can see him. Gary, I'm pretty confident this is not what we discussed on the telephone. Marshal? Mr. Duffy. Should I be putting my hands up or something? You guys from last night, you get them from your colleagues in the security community? Does it really matter? Or I guess I could say, what guys? What Gary promised you? Some part in the insurance money? You ask him? I'm asking you. I have the funny feeling anything I say can or will be used against me. Or maybe I've just seen too much law and order. Nothing will be used against you. We're gonna end this right now. That sounds ominous. Well, that depends. I figure you're good enough that no one can link the hitters from last night to you. Thank you. Except, of course, for Gary. He seems like a bit of a loose hand. Gary could put you in for all day. Well, what are you, what are you doing? What? Gary doesn't realize you were going to kill him anyway. I mean, that's why he had the button man outside his house, right? Well, you can't Gary, seriously. Gary, I ain't going to kill you right now. Not in front of a deputy U.S. Marshal. Your problem is that I'm just about done here. I don't care where you go. I'd leave the country, but that's entirely up to you. As long as we never see you again. I'd go. Now. You want to explain what just happened? Or should we all just pretend that's completely normal? Don't believe me. I'd like nothing more than to lean on him, use him to put you away, let Winona see what he really is. But I think it'd just tear her apart. So, are we finished? As long as you understand that the next time we have this conversation, there won't be a conversation.